And I think I showed you guys this a while ago with playing chords on a five string, you have the ability to be able to split that chord in half or just make that bass note jump an octave lower to make it sound a little bit more interesting, make it sound a little bit more full, like a guitar and a bass playing at the same time, especially when you're in the upper register of the bass playing these types of chords. So say for instance, you're playing a C minor seven or it doesn't mean, yeah, let's take a C major seven. C major seven chord, you're playing it up here in the upper register. So this will be your C, your E and your B. Uh, you can omit the G. All right, so now if I wanted to play that C an octave lower, which I couldn't with a four string, I can move that C all the way down an octave and the formation and the pattern for an octave is two strings down, two frets back, wherever you are, two strings, down in pitch and two frets back in pitch. Okay, so we're going up to the E, to the B, back, half step, half step. So down two strings, down whole step. Same exact note. So you have a C here on the B string. So that'll get you to actually learn your fretboard a little bit faster as well. So just kind of learning those octaves that you already know, even even up here. So you know your C, you know your D, you know your uh, F, or sorry, E, you know your F, you know your G, your A, right? So just take the octave of those. C, D, right? E, F, uh, G, A. So now you know the whole entire scale on the B string now that you're new to a five string. Boom, there you go. On the A string. And then you now you can do it on the G string because that's an octave too. Okay, so you get the idea. So C, let's go back to a C major. <laughs> so let's move that C down an octave and let's keep the rest of the notes the same. So we have B, and the B together. Now we're going to position our first finger. So now you have that low consistency of the bass note of a C. So now you have this actual tone or frequency right here. And this bass may need some intonation work. I haven't worked on it in a while. So the note might not be exactly on pitch, but you get the idea. Anyway, so that's a way that you can break up your major chords uh, or even play your uh, extended upper extension chords like your uh, like your nines and your 13s. A lot of the 13s that I like to play, uh, I like to play that with the B string uh, and just play the rest of the tones or the chords without playing it root, rootless because I can play those chords rootless, right? Uh, so say if I wanted to play a C13. Okay, so, th so that's a C C13 without the root. I would have to do this, right? So C13 basically meaning root, third, fifth, seventh, ninth, 11, 13, right? So that's what that chord consists of. So what I'm playing here is the C, the, um, I'm playing the seventh, the third, the, the octave of the third, right? So that's technically the 10th, uh, which is weird. It's weird to think about it like that, but <laughs> just imagine I'm playing the, the seventh, the third and the seventh, it's just flipped. And that's my 13 right there. If I were to keep counting with the C major scale, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's where that number comes from. The 13, which is also the octave of the 6. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm messing around with the, some different tones. So I have my seven, three, and 13. So that's what I can use as a bass player to play these different chords and try to manipulate and try to get the essence of that chord, that 13, like a big, big, huge C13 chord that a piano player would play and try to stretch that out and you know achieve that same sound on the bass with still only playing three to four notes. Okay, so seven, three, 13, root. See how that how pretty that sounds, right? Now without that root note, I can play the the rootless chord. But you know, sometimes it's a lot 
easier. It sounds a little bit better when you get the context of where it's coming from. So that bass note. Or even when I play an altered chord, right? So even when I play like a C altered. So sometimes I want to play that with the root on it, but but I want to play the flat seven along with that. But that's still a C altered chord, but that's without the bass note. So if I wanted to add those notes inside of it and still have the C, that's how it would sound. 